everyone. The meeting will come to order. I want to welcome the Internal Revenue Service Commissioner, John Koskinen, to our committee here today to discuss the 2016 IRS budget request. Uh, this is a busy time for the IRS, and so, Mr. Commissioner, we appreciate you being here today uh, to share your testimony and answer any questions we might have. Now, for 2016, the IRS is requesting a massive 2 billion or 18 percent increase. Commissioner, last month you told the Senate Finance Committee uh, that the IRS was not asking for a budget increase, but just for the money that was taken away from you, presumably by this committee. And it came as a surprise to me to learn that you might believe the IRS is entitled to $13 billion because entitlements are for programs like Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. National security, it's a constitutional duty, but even the Department of Defense has to appear before the Appropriations Committee. They have to justify their budget request. They have to subject themselves to the congressional oversight before Congress provides DOD with any funds, and so IRS has to do the same. Now, contrary to what we all read in the media from time to time about this committee, we're not here to simply punish the IRS. We're here to hold the IRS accountable to the use of the taxpayers' dollars. And we deliberately, yes, we deliberately lowered the IRS funding to a level that will make the IRS think twice about what you are doing and why you are doing it because you don't have a single dime to spare on anything frivolous or foolhardy or even mediocre. Now, the IRS should focus on core missions of providing taxpayer services, such as processing returns and issuing refunds, providing customer service like answering the telephone, and catching tax cheats. If the IRS wants more solid and sustainable funding, then the IRS needs to show Congress and the American taxpayers that it can manage its funding responsibly and administer the tax code in an objective way. But unfortunately, it seems like we read week after week after week about one form of IRS mismanagement or another, such as overlooking 50,000 tax returns filing, filed using incorrect information, hiring former employees with known conduct problems, paying bonuses to tax delinquent employees, frequent and costly executive travel, lax oversight of purchase cards, lavish spending on conferences, and last but not least, applying extra scrutiny to certain tax-exempt organizations. And then, to add insult to injury, the budget request seeks to eliminate some of the key provisions that we on this committee added that were put there to help to help the IRS move past this series of mismanagement. A provision that targets says you cannot target, well that's not in the request. A provision that requires videos to be reviewed for appropriateness, that's gone. A provision that requires compliance with the federal tax records, that's gone. A provision that guards against excessive conference spending. That's not there in the request. There's a provision that we put in to uphold the confidentiality of tax returns. That's gone. Now, to me, these are just common sense, good government reforms that we put in the bill to help restore the trust in the IRS. So I hope that when you submit your 2017 budget that you might think about adding them back to your budget request. Now, we talk about doing more with less around here. These are tough economic times. And, Commissioner, I've heard your complaints that doing less uh, with less. And it's hard to do less with more. But I want to remind you that additional dollars are not the only, not the only solution. In fact, last month, the General Accountability Office, the so-called GAO, nonpartisan group, here's what they said, quote, Although resources are constrained, IRS has flexibility in how it allocates resources to ensure that limited resources are utilized as effectively as possible, magnifying the importance of strategically managing operations to make tough choices about what services to continue providing and which services to cut, end quote. So instead of asking for the money that 
has been taken away from you, uh, what I would hope that you would do is to study your budget line by line, prioritize your activities, re-engineer your business processes to deliver these priorities, and this is your opportunity to show this committee and to show all Americans that it's no longer business as usual with the IRS. This is an opportunity to show that you've shaken things up, things have been turned around. We hope you'll do that. And finally, I just want to highlight some landmark legislation that was enacted last year called the Achieving a Better Life Experience Act, or the so-called ABLE Act. The ABLE Act opens the door to a brighter future to millions of Americans with disabilities, allows them to set up a tax-free savings account similar to a 529 to save for college. Now, states are responsible for administering this program, and some of the states have already started the legislative process to create these ABLE Acts, but the IRS is required to regulate. They've got to issue regulations by June the 19th. And so I fully expect the IRS is going to meet that statutory guideline. So again, let me thank you, Mr. Commissioner, for being here today. Uh, let me turn to my distinguished ranking member, Mr. Serrano, for any comments he might have.